So I'm with Katie Skurja, and uh, during this time of social distancing, Katie, how are you? Good, enjoying the nice days. Yeah, good. Um, so Trying I just to wanted to ask, the best of it. Yeah, yeah, we all are. Just wanted to ask you, um, what's been on your heart and mind during this time? Well, this virus makes me ponder and reflect on how connected we actually are. Mm -hmm. You know, in the open table conversations, we talk a lot about um, all being created in the image of God. And that's the core of my work is that we're all connected through the Imago Dei yeah. and the image of God. And I, in a, in a weird way, this reminds us of that. Like we are all connected the whole world over. We're struggling with this and um, we're, we're all dealing with our own humanity, which in my way of thinking, in my work, I believe that that's one of the biggest things that we struggle with is accepting our humanity. And, um, and this is a, a big reminder of that. And, and part of our, part of accepting our humanity is accepting our vulnerability and our finiteness and our, you know, just that we're not in that in control as we think we are. Yeah. You know, and we're not as strong as we think we are, as the Rich Mullen song says, you know, we're, so you, we're not as strong. So you feel that people are feeling more connected? Like, have you experienced that or? In, in the conversations that I've been having with people, I, I think that they're recognizing that we are all connected. I mean, um, mm -hmm. and, and it's making us ponder that. I think that's the, an invitation from God in this time is to ponder that we are all connected. And, you know, even though we're vulnerable and we're not as strong as we think we are, we actually, if we can set our differences aside and put our ingenuity to work together, that we can accomplish great things. Yeah, you know, that's a that, great, but that's we a have to set point. aside differences. That's a great so point. So we're both, we're both weaker and stronger than we think we are. Yeah. yeah. But in together, a paradoxical way. Right, right. <laughs> Got to throw that word in. I got to get paradox in there. You, you know that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, no, that, that's a great point. You know, at, at the same time, simultaneously feeling the weakness of or how the frailty of life that, you know, this little piece of genetic material can so alter life. But mm -hmm. then seeing that together, if we actually acknowledge our connectedness and begin to recognize it and live into it, um, we can accomplish great things. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a great point. I mean, even just this package that's gone through in, in the government, like, you know, they, the two sides had to put aside differences to work mm -hmm. towards the common good. And look how quickly they got it done. Yeah. I mean, relatively quickly. For them, absolutely. <laughs> exactly, right? I mean, uh, to put yeah. together a... a a package that's never been done in the history of the United States in that short of time. Yeah, because we're we're in uncharted territory for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, very good. Thank you. So I'm I, I'm going to ask you some quick rapid fire questions and just give me a one word response. Okay. Okay. So, social distancing. Just a word that comes to mind with that. The word that comes to mind. Social distancing necessary i guess is the word that comes to mind <laughs> okay covid19 um a monster <laughs> favorite thing you've done since living in the sheltered home life by long shot it would be gardening Wow, very good. Um, your go-to activity when you're bored. <laughs> Same thing? <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I've transplanted 120 tomato starts. <laughs> oh, gosh, that's right. You are the tomato queen. Um, I look forward to eating some. So Yeah, well, there, there'll be some with your name on it. Yeah, no, you brought a bunch, I remember. Um, it's salsa. Oh, yes, yes. What are you reading? I am reading How God Can Change Your Brain by uh, Andrew Newberg. I think that's the name of it. 
God Changes Your Brain by Andrew Newberg. Very good. Uh, favorite snack? Popcorn. Okay. okay. Uh, current project? Can't say gardening. Give me another one. <laughs> <laughs> A puzzle. Say that again? Yeah. A puzzle. Okay. I'm getting a puzzle out that I had not worked on for a long time. Okay, least favorite thing about social distancing? Not being able to see my boys and, and kids. Mm. Okay, this one I'll, I'll give you more than just one word. Um, a piece of wisdom or advice for people during this time. Something maybe you found to work for you or however you want to say it. All things will be made new. I mean, I just, all things will be made new and plant something because it's a hope for the future. I mean, the people that I, I, I have 120 tomato plants because I share them with people and it, and growing something can give you hope for the future. And so I'm growing a lot of things, you know, so I can watching them come up. It reminds us that things die and then they grow. They have to die in order to grow. And so awesome. all things will be made new. Thank you. Mm-hmm.